Hey everyone, what's up? Um, I got a question regarding how to create a Minecraft Classic server. So, it's been a while since I've done this. Um, but I think I still remember how. So, go to Minecraft.net. And under Minecraft Classic Free, um, you're going to want to go to Multiplayer. And then, if you want to host your own, here's the server software. Click that link. And then just hit save file. So, create a new folder for it. Just keep it all organized. <clears throat> Unlike my desktop. Um, name it whatever you want. And then drag the zipped file into that folder. Alright, there we go. Close that, close that. Open it. Extract its contents. Like so. And then you're going to want to go to the readme.txt. And and then it just says um, to change any settings, edit the server dot properties. To run private server set is public default in the properties settings. To connect to your server, people should open the following URL in their browsers: http colon forward slash forward slash minecraft dot net forward slash play blah 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 equals your IP port. We'll take that. That's the only thing that's important. All right. Actually, let me refer back to this. Start the server. Run start dot server batch on Windows. Okay, if you're on Windows, do that. And we gotta fail to load properties. All right, so here's our properties folder here. Uh, you can set the port to whatever. Um. And. For some reason, I never had to port forward for the classic version. So I'm not sure if you're gonna need to be able. I'm not sure if you're gonna have to. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird. So open up your browser and then, um, for your IP. Um, I'm pretty sure they're referring to your IP. Um, for one nine two dot one. See, and then the server port number by default is two five five six five. Of course, I have to be running the server. And I get a fail to manifest. This is a great example of how many bugs classic version has. So let's run this. Good. So I just ran the server.batch file again and now it's loading everything perfectly so far. Hopefully it works. And then we're going to run the Minecraft server jar file after this closes. And let me just, yeah, okay, copy that so I have it for later. Again, it's your um, server's IP address. That's wrong. There it is. Just to double check to make sure that's my IPv4 address. One i two dot one six eight dot one dot three. All right, good. So that's that. Mm, I think I don't think it's done yet. Just going through setting it all up. Alright, good. Now it's loading stuff. It's loading the level. This can take a while. Um in the meantime, let's let me just tell you what I just did. Um I started the server batch file twice and for some reason it's working now. Um, 
run into the server properties folder like you saw just a minute ago um let me just go over this file here max connections let's set that to 10 max players I'll uh, leave it at 16 mm, verify names uh, you can set that to true admin slots uh, if you want you can have admins besides you and set that to true the port number the port that it's running on public equals true if you want it to be a private server just set it to false server name name your server it can be anything you want okay and grow trees you can set that to false um, or true and then this is a welcome message if you wanna mess with that I could care less uh, alright so people have connected this person actually already connected um so let's connect as well let's hit run and this is just saying you can't connect to the server via to this URL anymore you won't be able to save unless you log in so I'm in my server I'm playing on my server so that's how you do it uh, escape or not escape there we go alright so I'm gonna exit it um, I'm going to shut down the server before too many people start joining. And yeah, so if you're not running um, Windows, do not run the batch file. I don't really think you'll be able to run the minecraft-server.jar file. This file right here. Just double click it. It should be the same process. Um, and that's pretty much how you set up a Minecraft Classic server. You shouldn't have to port forward. If you do, let me just go over that real quick too. Um, if you would have to port forward, just go to your router's IP address, log in. If you don't know what your router's IP address is, go to the um, command prompt, type IP, config, and scroll up until you find a default gateway maybe say something different but similar so uh, then you're gonna wanna go down to advance and then port forwarding slash port triggering hit add custom service give it a name it can be anything service type TCP slash UDP ending port 25565 starting port or actually that is the starting port this is the ending port yeah, make it the same server IP address make it your IPv4 address um, and then hit apply alright and then it should work mine doesn't because I already have it set up for my other server and yeah so that's how you port forward and that's how you set it up thanks for watching please subscribe rate comment if you have any questions um, also remember to go to sn50.com to ask your questions too I'll show you it we just went through an update. Um, if you tried to register in the past few hours, you wouldn't be able to. But it's all working again. It's all good. Um, you can ask your questions about Minecraft and other... Basically anything. So, yeah. Good community. Um, and, yeah. So, see you next time. Please subscribe, rate, comment, like I just said a second ago. And see ya.